Okay, this is uh, Cassandra and Janet, and um, you want to tell me why uh, why you're down here? And you mentioned that you're at the uh, detention center. Um, yes, yeah, so we're down here today to basically yesterday it kind of went crazy. There's a lot of um, anarchy and destroying of property and stuff. So we're just down here to support peaceful protest and try to um, bring light to the issues that are really pressing issues in the world. And and what those what which ones are are your priorities? Um, infant mortality rates, poverty, lack of adequate basic health care and education, especially in a lot of uh, underdeveloped countries. Yeah. What about Canadian issues? Um, I think that Canada should be funding um, abortions in different in not to their, their part with um, birth control, but I think that's not enough because 70,000 women die annually of, um, as a result of illegal abortions in other, in other in internationally. So I think that we should be funding that. We have it. We have that right in Toronto to legal safe abortions, and there's no reason why we should be funding that internationally. So. And yeah, so on on Friday we were actually at the G20 detention center on Eastern and Pape because there was a deaf youth who was beaten to the floor and arrested and not given access to an ASL interpreter, in, um, translator. Um, he was t he was handcuffed with his hands behind his back. Think about it, you, think about, that's his means of communication. Think about if you're sitting there in a cell, an overcrowded cell with tape over your mouth, you cannot communicate. So we just thought that was. At the time of his arrest, the police were uh, informed that he was deaf and somebody on site, who was actually his neighbor, offered to translate and they refused. How much time did you spend there? Sorry? He spent a few hours on the sidewalk and then I don't think he was even... He was arrested at 2 that day. Uh, we were at protesting inside the detention center till about 11 o'clock. I don't think he was released. I think he was transferred to the program. Still at the moment don't know exactly if he's been released, what his charges are necessarily. We're not quite sure what's happening. Yeah, there was uh, more rallies for uh, regarding others uh, that had been um, jailed, uh, many illegally. Um, um, earlier, which yeah. um, I, I couldn't make to, and another police present was was made similar to the um, to yesterday, which was an overreaction. Um, do you, were you um, uh, aware of any of that, or did you make any of that? We didn't go out on Saturday because we. I just felt like what it had turned into was clouding issues. The real problems weren't being addressed. It sort of just turned into vandalism and violence, and that's what they're showing now. Uh, and the police at this point now had reason, or at least they felt, to arrest anyone and anyone who had any, anything to do with the protest, whether it was peaceful or not. Yeah, illegally. So, illegally. Yeah. Um, are you aware, or were you aware, that, um, that, there, are, that there have been groups and, and meetings um, all around before and during the, G summit, the G20 summit for people to get together and and make solutions and uh, think about ideas that have nothing to do with with protesting were you made aware of any of those i personally i don't know i think one of the problems with uh, maybe not getting as much success as we'd like is that we're not quite organized enough people haven't quite unified enough yeah, there's a lot of groups coming together. The Toronto Mobilization uh, Network is is a good one, and and they 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 keep a track on the protests, and but they were in with other groups um, to set up meetings um, to for solutions as well that have nothing to to do with protests, and and unfortunately those don't get much don't get much coverage. Well, I think that, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate because of the, the, some of the things that happen. It's going to be a little bit sensationalized and then forgotten about. And some some of the people who were out there maybe doing some of the vandalism aren't after going to look for groups to make real change. It was just sort of a lashing out. Yeah, a moment where they... Um, the amount of people that lashed out, uh, the anarchists, were very small in comparison to yeah. a number but, of, of citizens that have a right to... To, to protest and that's been uh, unfortunately they sort of endangered and those and um, take and our rights were taken away how, how do you feel about that I'm upset that's why I refused to go out yesterday because I just didn't think 
if the issues are totally confused and so I thought you know what today when it sort of regained some level of like normalcy I figured okay now we can go out and maybe people will pay attention to the issues that we're really talking about instead of if you look on the news all they're showing is clips of uh, Burn police cars. cruisers burning Fire. and and you know just that sort of madness they're not looking at the real issues and actually the sort of people who are fighting against this is exactly what they wanted we've done them a favor unfortunately Okay, um, thank you. Thank you very much for your time and then coming down today. I was hoping I'd, I'd be able to track down more today myself and um, give it a little bit longer. Okay, and thanks for all that you're doing. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Mobile Broadcast News.